guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. My heart is so full today because I am coming at you live from sunny Hermosa Beach, California, and I just couldn't be happier to be back, you guys. If you kept up with my videos over the summer, then you know that I was living in Beverly Hills, but I was interning in Hermosa Beach. My aunt Tiff has a shoe store here called Details, and I was doing her social media in order to fulfill a credit to graduate. I've since graduated with a fashion merchandising degree from Kent State University in December and now I am doing social media full-time originally I was planning on moving right back here to Hermosa once I graduated but I've been traveling so much and have had so much opportunity that I am postponing my move for a little bit longer but I'm still happy to be back this is actually gonna be kind of a long trip um, I'm here for about two and a half weeks on the West Coast and I'm picking up my car finally I'm so excited I'm with Tiff today and then on Tuesday I am driving up to San Luis Obispo for a work trip with my agency. I'm gonna keep that in this vlog and then I'm gonna start a new vlog because I'm going to Marina Del Rey for a couple of days and then I'm going to San Diego for a couple of days after that. Then I'm coming back to Hermosa Beach for a couple of days and then I am going to Vegas. I'm working with a bunch of different hotels and resorts over the next couple of weeks, just kind of putting together travel guides, sharing recommendations, um, restaurants, all that kind of jazz and just soaking up the West Coast sunshine. I'm really, really happy to just be back back in my stomping grounds and yeah I feel very lost right now I'm not gonna lie I'm like torn between if I should move to California if I should spend an extended stay in Florida really what I should do but okay. I'm I don't know I'm taking you guys along regardless of what's going on and obviously keeping you updated on all all the feelings, all the thoughts, all the post-grad stuff. So here we go. Okay, we just took some pictures and a reel in these really cute black mules. What brand are these? Naked Feet. Naked Feet. And Tiff just started carrying these Dolce Vita bags and I love these. I just got a white leather one sent to me and she has the black and the brown. They're really, really cute. They're kind of expensive, like $200, but they're real leather and it's super spacious. And she got the brown too. So I'm about to take a picture in this one too. It's like the good old days. Uh, did you miss me so much? I did. I did. <laughs> All right, we'll leave details linked down below. Here's a little run through of the store right now. You can buy everything online, guys. So if you're wanting new uh, Dolce Vita shoes or you want the Goriana jewelry that I wear every day, all that stuff, help a small business out. Come on, you know you want to. Oh look at she has all these fun slippers now too. She's always carried the smiley face ones, but she started getting other ones. Like look at the cowboy ones are kind of cute. Good vibes. We should do a reel with these. Right. You don't even I don't even know that you have all these right now. <laughs> the hearts. Right, the hearts. Look so at fun. Camel ones. Look at. You Those just messed cute. them all up though. <laughs> Love. Love, you love, also love. have a lot of Xenas right now. These are the sneakers I always rave about. She has them in black right now too. One pair, sparkle pair. The blue, these are the new Three ones. pair. I like these ones best. These are really cute. They've got that like Sherpa and the metallic. And then these ones are like canvas and all the jewelry. The necklaces that I have on right now today are from here. Um, I have this one on right now. We're taking a St. Patrick's Day reel and it's going uh, semi-decent right now. <laughs> We're like hopping up and down and we've got the tripod out. I left Tiff with my tripod and honestly, I have missed this guy so much. I tried to order the exact same one and it came and it was completely different. But this is like the best Amazon tripod. It's like super, super sturdy and no gust of wind will take it down, which is what I like. Cutest boy just came into the store. <laughs> And he was like, this is just the store that, he was witty, I liked him. So we don't get that many boy customers in the store. So when a cute boy comes in, Tiff and I have, just have to like look at each other and be like, that's a cute boy that came in. And the boy that came in was really cute and he wanted to buy a sweatshirt, but he didn't end up getting one. He has said he's too sweaty. He needs to go home first and shower and come back. If he asks me out, I'll, I'll move to California instead of Florida. <laughs> you better count your, <laughs> You better pray. Anyways, I'm taking this hat home with me. Sorry, dad. My dad has this thing because every trip I go on, I come back with one more hat. And he's like, really, Mackenzie? It's so cute. It is you? so cute. I like the sweatshirt with it too, but the sweatshirt's is small. So Tiff is open from 11 to five. And I'd usually like eat breakfast before I came in the store, but 
I'd always get a paradise bowl for lunch. So that's what I'm doing. I'm running to go get us one. It's kind of chilly here. I was really hoping that I was going to be in like dresses and sandals and stuff. But uh, it's boots and sweater season here in California. That's what I'm realizing. I got us gauchos. You this got the one, same thing? Yep, this one has blueberries, strawberries, banana, granola. I accidentally, I thought that she likes honey. the honey. I don't mind It turns out honey, she does, I, I don't not, get it on. That's not my favorite. Uh, the only reason why I like the gaucho more than the other ones is because this one's made with apple juice, right? Yeah. Yeah, and some of theirs are like with coconut milk and I hate milk in my acai. So when I left California at the end of July, I was like 80% sure that I was gonna move back here after graduation. And so I decided to just leave my car parked here while I was abroad. So Tiff and her friend have so generously stored my car, but the entire contents of our apartment is in the back of my car. Like you literally can't even see out the windows and things like that. Um, but now that I'm gonna be driving it for a few weeks here, I obviously can't safely drive around like that. So I'm pulling everything out and this is like legit opening a time capsule. Um, as you guys know, my appendix uh, situation happened my last couple of days here so I didn't even pack this up like my friends and Tiff packed my car so this is like so much whoa <laughs> so much chaos is about to happen so the boy that we said was cute he did come back into the store and he tried on a sweatshirt and he, we didn't have the color he wanted in his size so Tiff being Tiff being the best aunt she is was like well if you give me your number I will call you and tell you when I have your size back in stock so I took the phone number and I texted him and said, want to get a drink later? And he was like, who is this? And I was like, the girl from the store. And he was like, haha, I had a feeling. So now I'm canceling my dinner plans and I'm going to get a drink with Johnny. Ditching me. <laughs> Ditching me. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Maybe it's my husband. <laughs> Jules goes, I hope he's your husband because I hope you change your mind and want to move back to California. So I'll keep oh. you posted. I am going to take my hat off. Yes, you gotta do something with your hair. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, I just realized I never showed you guys my outfit today. I'm wearing a long sleeve top from Express. I just got this and I really like it. It's cotton, it's double lined in the front. And then I just have on a little cardigan. This is from H&M. And then my pants are from Mango. I bought them when I was in Barcelona and I wear them like 24 seven. And then my shoes are new from a brand called Vivea. Um, I've never worn them before today. They're comfortable. They're rubbing my toe a little bit, but they're still cute. And then my purse is from Pauline. Cute, funky, fresh. All right, wish me luck on my date. People just commented today on my YouTube that they want to see more of my boy life. So here it is. Thanks to me. Thanks to Tiff. This is the start of an epic romance. Okay, everybody, I told you that I would update you on my date last night, but Jules was sleeping, so, um, so I met this boy for a drink. We went to Tower 12 and it was fun. And then we were having a good time, so he asked if we, if like I wanted to eat dinner. So we went to dinner at Palmia, which is a really good Mexican spot there. It's kind of a chic Mexican spot. And we got tacos. I really liked the mahi taco. The steak was better though, I thought. The filet taco. Um, and they have really great guac and they give you like tortillas with like this little cinnamon butter and all these different things. I think it's pretty good there. Good vibes. And then we were still talking after like three and a half hours. So we walked around the beach for a little bit. Then he walked me to my car. He was a big gentleman. I really liked him. Maybe I'll see him again. Who knows? Anyways, this is your sign to just randomly ask a boy for their number and to just go out because, you know, if nothing else, at least it's a good story to tell your kid one day. And I feel like it's a big confidence boost. I love first dates personally. I feel like first dates is just, it's like fun. Like there's nothing I love more than getting to know someone. Yeah. And... I don't know, like, I'm in such an interesting season of life where, like, so much is happening and going on and changing that, like, I don't know, it's just kind of cool, so. You make know yourself more, too. You, you do. You realize what you like and what you don't like when you see someone else. And I liked a lot about this kid. Hopefully he's not watching this. But maybe one day if we get married, we can roll the tape on this at our wedding. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm getting ready right now. I am headed into Hermosa for um, my laser hair appointment. I go to Sev here and I obviously haven't been since July. So I'm going to get a touch up and then 
I don't know what Jules and I are doing today, but we're gonna chit chat about it. I'm gonna finish up my makeup and we'll talk to you guys after once we have a plan. This is what I'm wearing today. Super casual, just a t-shirt from Project Social Tea that says, howdy y'all. Very cute. My jeans are the same ones that I wore yesterday from Mango. I've got on Dolce Vita Xenas. And then this cardigan I just threw over top. I was wearing it yesterday too, cause it's a little bit chilly. My hair is super dirty, so I just have it slicked. And yeah, getting ready to head out of here. Here's a little look at our hotel room. Jules was sleeping last night, so I didn't have the chance to show you, but we have our own beds today. Yay, Yay a luxury. And this is our outside view. Very pretty. I'm trying to convince Jules to go paddleboard, even though it's like way too cold to be in the water. Yeah, it's tough to switch back. All right, coming into Sev for my laser today. So I've been getting laser hair for like over a year and I obviously haven't gone since like July and it just has started to wear off. It does last a really long time and it's so worth it. So I just went and got my armpits and a full Brazilian done. Obviously I didn't end up filming any of that but it's super quick here, like 10 minutes in and out and it's painless here. So check out Seb, they have a few locations around the West Coast. Come here, come here, come out from behind you guys. No, I want to do Come now. here, come here. <laughs> Did you know that it's important for you to have 8 to 10 hugs a day? Oh, people who get 8 to 10 hugs a day are like 25% happier than people who don't. My dad read about it in a statistic and he goes, Well shit, I'll never be happy because no one hugs me. Oh, I get hugs all the time. Alright, I'm just saying hi to Tiff, but I'm going to work. Oh, she's leaving me now. <laughs> I'm coming back, don't worry. Alright, we came to a cute little cafe at Lucky 7 to sit down and get some work done. I just ordered a little breakfast burrito that's on the way. And I'm attempting to get a blog post and a YouTube video up today, so. All right, I just got a little egg burrito and now I'm contemplating my whole life and wondering if I should be moving back to California instead. Cheers. <laughs> okay, we were working from that little cafe. My breakfast burrito was actually really good, but it was really, really cold there. They didn't have heat. Um, the boy that I went on the date with yesterday, he hasn't, Replied to my text, which isn't good news. <sighs> Thought he might have been my husband. <laughs> cafe number two, and Jules and I are acting like we're literally middle schoolers trying to get our homework done. Like all we do is talk and giggle and laugh, and like we'll be we'll be quiet for like 30 seconds, and then someone says something. But so today I needed to get a, this New York City blog post up. I needed to write another blog post and edit the video, and all I've done for the last three hours is one of those tasks. But it's okay. Jules has been sitting with the Boohoo tab open on her computer for <laughs> so long that her computer's dead. <laughs> Alright, finally done with this. Lots and lots and lots of pink outfits from New York City. But I love the way this came together. Okay, so we were just working at Gumtree Cafe. And on the other side, they have... A, the cutest store you've ever seen and I just bought a baby gift here because the owner of my agency just had a baby and I wanted to get her a little something I just got this South Bay onesie with all of her Bosa Manhattan on it. Isn't that so cute? Um, and then I got a little card from here, too, but they have the best stuff in here It's not just baby stuff. They have like a million greeting cards and I ended up getting this one So cute. I also really want this sweatshirt. I know I'm gonna end up getting it at some point it says Hermosa 90254. The thing is, is I own a million sweatshirts and I really don't wear sweatshirts all that often. I wear the same crew neck for like three weeks and then when I get sick of it, I retire it. Jules is wearing one that was in the back of my car. This guy's, if you remember when we lived in Swall, I used to wear this literally 24 seven and Jules had a matching one. And then I left mine in Paris and then I got to get Mackenzie's. Now that I'm back and I'm like, wow, I threw it out, but I get it back. <laughs> Okay, we're headed back to the hotel in Marina Del Rey. When we left California, I remember Ashley and I celebrating that gas had just gotten under $6. <laughs> and today, if you paid with cash, it was $4.59. If you paid with your card, $4.79. That's crazy, you guys. It's gone down quite a bit. But um, we're filling my car up now. It had about half a tank in it when it was when I got it back yesterday. So just filling up before my drive to San Luis Obispo tomorrow. I'm going to keep that in this vlog so you know. But... So sunny. Jules goes, those ones are kind of cute. No, you said they were and cute. And she goes, yeah, as she literally is a plant in her purse. Then <laughs> you got Mackenzie's car with my stuff. So we just got back to our hotel and Jules left a box of her stuff in my car and she just went through it. And literally it was a box of all of her old diaries basically and like 
bucket lists and things like that. Insert this video of me reading it here. <laughs> and so I'm like, Jules, we should make new. A lot of the things yeah. actually did come true. I know, it's really exciting. So I was like, <sighs> let's bring our journals to dinner like losers and write new lists and new goals and new aspirations. What so that didn't doing. come true is my skin being healthy. Yeah, she said another rash. So anyways, we're going to dinner in our hotel. There's a restaurant here. I'm not sure the name of it, but Beaches. Beaches. Beach oh, cute. It's so cute down here. They have a really interesting menu, like very different. There's a lot of fried yuca on the menu, which is interesting because you never see it. But this is their winter dinner menu, so I think that that might be why. But I think I'm going to get shrimp fettuccine. It has green beans and tomato and shiitake. What is that? I'm going to ask him what that is. Oh. And Jules said she's getting the brand Zeno. And we're getting fries too, of course. Jules is like so colorful and pretty. <laughs> and it's so different than any kind of fish I've ever seen. I just got the pasta and it looks really good. A lot of veggies in it. Good for me. Shawnee, if you're watching this, I'm eating veggies today. Jules and I just had like an aggressive session at dinner. Aggressive. Right, first, I want to talk about the pasta. The pasta. <laughs> the pasta. <laughs> A 10 out of 10. What? <laughs> that was exactly the reaction I was hoping for. I thought it was phenomenal. Wow. It had green beans. I'm shocked. The it had vegetables in it, Joni. <laughs> Yesterday on my date, I was like, I don't really eat that many vegetables. Oh, sorry. And I, I was like, it's okay. I don't really eat that many fruits. I didn't think Vanzu was going to like it because it had a lot of vegetables I love in it. And green it was beans are spicy. My, green beans are my favorite vegetable. Wow. It had mushrooms in two. Very anyways, you. anyways um, I thought it was great. The flavor was really unique. It had just the right amount of spice to give it flavor, but... I don't know, it was great. The fries were also great, and the manager came around and talked with us, and he was great, too. All right, so Jules and I have come up with a little bit of a list of places that we want to go. And then today on my Instagram story, I asked people where they would like to see me, what cities they want to see me cover. They want Rex in. And I got an overwhelming amount of replies. I got Seattle, Houston, Salt Lake City, Savannah, Austin, New Orleans, Charleston, Nashville, Cape May, Phoenix, Charlotte, Scottsdale, and Tampa were the most requested places. And I know, I know that I keep saying I want to sit down and I just want to chill out. She's not in her body though. But I'm going to guys. So basically after the West Coast, I'm going home to Maryland and I'm spending... Um, a couple of weeks at home. My car needs some maintenance done to it and it's my mom's birthday and I just want to spend some time with my parents. I haven't really felt like I've been able to like spend that much time with them because I've only been there like a couple of days at a time. So I'm going to take a few weeks to rest at home. There's a chance that I'm going to drive up to Pittsburgh and see Olivia in her new apartment. Possibly pay a visit to Kent. Who knows? We'll see. Um, so anyways, but other than that, I'm going to be sitting still. And then oh, early in really sound like you're sitting <laughs> And then early into April, I am going to drive down to Florida and spend a handful of weeks in an Airbnb there. I am really craving sitting still like I said, but I want to sit still somewhere sunny and warm that has a good post grad vibe to it. I want to meet people. You know, like I want to I want to like live a little bit of normalcy for a little bit. Um, kind of get into a routine so that's what I'm thinking and on the way home so I also so okay let's backtrack so I want to be home on May 28th my birthday Jules needs to be home on June 1st wedding I need to be home on June 2nd wedding so we kind of have things that are calling us back to our uh, perspective areas early into June so we were kind of thinking you know why don't we hit some of these cities that people have requested us to be in on the way home? Like we'll spend three, four days in each city. We'll have my car so we can just drive easily from place to place. It will break up the drive kind of nicely and we can give you guys the content you want to see. So as you can see by my beautiful map 
drawing. I'm not an artist by any means. We had an intense dinner. We had an intense dinner, as you can see. Cause I don't have a combo in my body. Anyways, all right. So we're thinking that after Florida, we're gonna hit Savannah, Charleston, Charlotte, possibly Nashville, and then um, head home. So four cities right now, a little southern tour. I've been to Charleston, I've been to Nashville, both two of my favorite places. Jules has not been to either, right? Neither, yeah. Neither, big girl! Some of my most popular blog posts and the reasons why my website started going viral. I feel like people think that um, it's crazy how much traveling I do because my platforms aren't that big, but a majority of my like credibility and opportunity comes from my website itself. My website gets a lot of traffic to it. And Charleston and Nashville are really what started spiraling. Wow. That, in case you didn't know and you wanna be hip, that's where I got my claim to fame, baby. All right, anyways. So if there is a specific city that you would like to see on this coast of the map, let's see, let's pull it up for you. If there is a specific city that you would like to see us in on this, this coast, Stopping at Maryland. Don't tell me anything in Boston, Boston, or uh, Connecticut, Maine. We're gonna do that, don't worry. We're gonna do that little bit. But if there's anything you wanna see in these states, let us know. I think it would be coolest if we hit five places, but that might be wishful thinking. So let us know what you guys think of this idea. And then after June, we would reconvene and yeah, when I do move to California, which hopefully, and I really do feel in my heart will be in this calendar year, I am planning on driving the car back um, and you know taking my time to do it. But I've never really seen a lot of places on the coastline, so I think it would be kind of fun. Um, we also started brainstorming a possible cross country bit. We brainstormed some other countries. So let us know, let us know. Someone commented on my Q&A today that she just wants to see me sit still. <laughs> me too, babe. I promise you I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I need to recharge my batteries because believe it or not, they do wear out a little bit. You know, like my, my body's running on E right now. Um, it's still going, still kicking. Still kicking. Still kicking, but it's, it's draining, it's depleting. So let's talk about countries. Um, I'm interested in going to Aruba, the Bahamas, the Dominican Republic, and the Virgin Islands. And Jules said, Mackenzie, that is a very basic list of countries that normal people like, like, you know, like that's like a, that's, that's a popular where, honeymoon, yes. um, anniversary, people don't, family vacation kind of destination. Yeah. For, um, you know, like nothing about it is like overly, well, I think it's overly exciting and different because I've to never me, been to those places, yeah. but they're basic places to visit. But I think because they're basic places to visit that it would be a beneficial place to visit and give people my thoughts and recommendations. Like, I feel like normal college kids are looking to go to Mexico for possible spring break or my post-grads, you know, a lot of you guys are getting married and planning your honeymoons right now. And, and those would realistically be places that aren't too far for you to get to or probably closer within a budget price range. So just kind of like, let me know if you guys could go anywhere, anywhere, let us know. If there's a specific, you know, like, I'm just curious for your feedback, guys. Like, if I were really thinking one day I'd love to go to South Africa, I'd love to go to Australia, but I'm not, like, dying to plan trips there right now, you know what I mean? Like, I want to I wanna stay a little closer to home right now. Oh, also, um, the other day, I, when I first got here, I didn't vlog the first day I was here. I was taking a break. Um, but I saw this. Okay, so when I got home from one of my trips, I saw one of these weird cloths sitting on my kitchen weird counter cloth. at home. And I was like, Mom, what is this weird cloth? She was like, it's a reusable paper towel. And I was like, literally, what the hell is a reusable paper towel? What does that even mean? How could a paper towel be reusable? She was like, I just got these and you just like put them in the wash and like, they're reusable durable. They absorb 16 times its weight and they last more than six months. They're dishwasher safe, machine washable. You can bleach them when needed and they're made out of cellulose mm. and cotton. And she thought that I was mocking her and making fun of her for having this reusable paper towel, which I kind of was, not intentionally in a mean way, just like, you know, wow, we have re we're, we're a really eco-friendly family now. <laughs> so anyways, she was not very happy with me. And so when I was at this little store, I saw this adorable, this adorable California print. 
And then I realized that this was, in fact, on a reusable paper towel. So I bought it for her as a little forgive me gift so that she, so that I could, uh, you know, make, Be loved. make amends there. $9.95, mom. Love ya. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unreal. I need to, uh, so Jules, where do you want to go? What? What? I'm doing a, uh, questions on my Instagram right now. Follow, follow us. So the thing about me is that I never drink water. I drink like maybe one full water bottle a day and Jules drinks like four every hour. Mm -hmm. But then occasionally <laughs> I'll just chug half a water bottle in one sip like I just did and Jules. Like, so and it'll recharge you. me for the next day. Dude, it's literally insane how little water she drinks. I'm so proud of you right now. Mm. Mm. Wow. Good job, Mackenzie. <laughs> Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning, 7.30, and we're getting ready to head out of here. <sighs> Barely start. Um, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a fun little drive. It's actually been a while since I've like driven driven, so I'm excited. It says it's gonna take me three hours and 15 minutes, and I'll be there at 11.04, hoping I make good time this morning, but I do know that I'll definitely get stuck in traffic. They said I should get stuck in traffic around Santa Barbara, so we'll see how this is. This is gonna be the furthest I've ever driven um, in California, so I'm excited. Should be fun. Yay, as you can tell, I'm not a huge driver, so I'm trying to hype myself up, but I'm gonna listen to Morgan Wallen's new album. It's like two hours worth of stuff, so it should uh, get me through a good chunk of this drive, so. Safe travels, bye everybody. Just go better together. I have made it to San Luis Obispo, literally the prettiest drive ever. Um, it said I was going to get here at 11.15 and I rolled in at 11.30, so just 15 minutes longer. I didn't end up stopping at all, um, didn't need to, I had plenty of gas, but it was seriously the prettiest drive ever. That Santa Barbara area is so beautiful and I drove right along the coast, so it was like all beach, then it was all mountains, then I saw buffalo. Then I was driving through like wine country, seriously crazy. And then once I got into like San Luis Obispo, like about 30 minutes away from the hotel in like downtown area that we're staying in right now, I swear it looked so much like Switzerland. It was crazy, but anyways, I just checked into our hotel. There are about 35 talent with Lola and Ivy and I actually don't know anyone. I don't know if I said that in this vlog or not, but um, this is my first trip with them. I've only been signed with them since July. So they actually gave me my own room so that I would feel comfortable and didn't have to share with anyone. So I just checked in and it's super, super cute. I'll give you guys a little room tour and then we're just gonna hang out for a little bit. And then I'm gonna get ready for our little welcome party. It's at 1.30 and it's like noon right now. So I've got a little bit of time, but we are staying at a hotel called Hotel Cerro. And right when you walk in, I've got the toilet to my left, full length mirror, and then it's kind of cool. This reminds me of my Mykonos hotel. Um, when you walked forward, the double sinks were here. Very, very fun. And then behind this is the bed. I just have like a little queen to myself. Very cutesy, it's got all the outlets on either side. Um, and yeah. Oh, I also have a view out here. Here we go. Wine country, hello San Luis Obispo. We're like right in the heart of downtown, I believe. Hence all the buildings, but I'm very excited because later on this week we've got trips to like wine country area. We're doing like a luxury tour tomorrow, so you guys will get to see all of it. And everyone that has heard about me coming here has said that I'm gonna love it and that it's so pretty, so. Gosh, yeah. Wait, I totally forgot that I hadn't seen the shower and then I realized that these doors lead into the shower. That's like the hugest walk-in you've ever seen. Holy cow. So I'm assuming that these doors on this side are like a little closet or something. <gasps> Hotel robe, yay! I just killed a little bit of time before the welcome party and got a blog post up, my Miami outfit guide. And now I am dressed and ready to get out of here. I fished this pink dress out of the back of my car when I first got here. And I really like it. I think this is what I'm gonna wear today. We have a welcome party that is pink themed. So 
Love the little sleeves on this fun little open back. I've got on lace up little sandals slash heels from Dolce Vita. And then this little bag is from Pauline. I know I'm gonna be cold, but I just like don't know what to do about it because I don't really have anything to go with this. So fingers crossed the rooftop has heaters, but yeah, let's get out of here. I'm excited. You guys will get to see Chloe and I'm kind of nervous guys. Like there's a lot of people I'm about to meet, but fingers crossed it goes well. Hey, okay, love you. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love. last like two and a half hours just networking hanging out having a couple of drinks meeting so many new people i just got back to my room we are changing and getting ready for our next event of the night which is a boat ride but first i want to show you what we got in these little goodie bags i got this ll bean tote that says little let ivy on it and it's full of goodies so let's see what's inside oh my gosh there's all kinds of goodies in here wow all right, let's take everything out and then I'll show you guys what I got and add it back in as we go on. Oh my god, the super glue glow screen. I've been wanting to try this for so long. This is the Symbiotica B12 and B6. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that it's something you use your gua sha for. This is a pair of sunglasses. Why does that keep happening? A pair of sunglasses from Maurice's. Very cute. I'll probably throw those into my car. A Tarte Fake Awake Eyeliner. That's like a pale nude. This is Vadam India. A joyous assortment of four appetizing teas blended with lush natural ingredients. Interesting. This is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. This is an Athena Club razor. Look at how nice that razor is. It's like a light pink, very, very cute. Tarte Little Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Chill Pill Relaxing Moisturizing for Skin Essential Oil. More Tarte. I haven't tried Tarte stuff in so long. This is their Juicy Lip Plum. A Navy Hair Care Flexible Volumizing Hair Spray chill relaxing essential oil we've got a bunch of these natural butters and a bunch of the liquid IVs some soft and chewy licorice some popcorn some sour drops more liquid IV a dewy skin cream some type of Japanese product a little pajama shorts they look a little big they're size medium little pink tank to go with very cute and then the last thing in here is a little Petal and Pup set. I'm so obsessed. I love Petal and Pup so, so, so much. Very cute. All right, guys, I'm going to change. Whoa, I'm not sure why this light keeps going off. I'm going to go change, and I will get back to you. much at all yesterday i don't know i was just like feeling kind of self-conscious um 
I know that everyone here is literally an influencer, so that's kind of stupid of me. But um, pretty much nobody here has a YouTube. I think maybe a couple of girls do, but um, part of why my agency brought me on is because I did have a YouTube channel and they are kind of trying to break into that space. So yeah, um, today I promise I will be better. So yesterday I was just kind of like taking my time to meet people and network with some people and really like deepen my relationship with my own manager. Uh, her and I obviously talk all day every day so we are extremely close but we don't actually like see each other at all. We got breakfast when she happened to be in California like last summer but other than that this is only the second time that we've been together in person but um, I'm feeling like much better going into today. I need to like pluck my eyebrows so I'm adjusting this. Um, I'm feeling much better going in today knowing more faces and just like a lot of these girls I've followed forever but like you know like we've obviously never met in real life where some of us we've talked on Instagram DMs others we haven't so I'm really looking forward to today actually um, we have a brunch with the sis kiss which is a jewelry brand and then we have a like all day winery from 1 30 to 7 30 so prepping myself for quite a bit of drinking this afternoon um, but we had a blast last night on the boats and then we went out to dinner some of us like about 10 of us went to dinner and it was really really good guys it was a lot of fun so anyways yeah i'm just getting ready right now one of my like favorite things about being on the west coast um, is that even when I was living here in the summer in Beverly Hills, I like never fully adjusted back. Like I've been waking up at 6.30 every day here and when I lived here for a whole summer, I never slept past eight o'clock one day. Like I swear my body clock is just like kind of permanently programmed on East Coast time. It's like, all right, it's time to get up and moving. And it's kind of nice because I get a lot out of my day when I wake up at 6.30. So I just replied to some emails and um, posted a couple of TikToks, things like so that. So I just did my makeup and now I'm doing my hair. Um, this is the Bondi Boost Heat Protectant. Look at my root growth right now, you guys. My roots are horrible and I'm so happy about it because it means that my hair is actually growing. Yeah. Um, so, so, so happy about that, you guys. Um, I really like never straightened my hair ever, but... I thought I had a curling iron in the back of my car and it turns out I didn't. I only had, I had a T3 straightener, I had a T3 blow dryer, I had a T3 round brush roller, and I had a crimper here, but no curling iron. Um, so I'm just gonna run this through my hair. I honestly like don't really want it to be fully straight. I don't mind the flippy ends, but um, it's kind of kinky from sleeping, so. So in the last vlog that I uploaded, my Florida vlog, um, so many of you guys said that you enjoyed how chatty that travel vlog was and that you prefer that in videos because you just enjoy seeing my personality as opposed to like b-roll of each city I'm in and um, one of my favorite most loyal subscribers Julia she said that she just really misses watching me talk like while I get ready because she feels like that's like when I like chit chat the most and kind of give you guys life updates and things like that so I'm trying to bring that element back in here is my outfit for today this dress is from Saltwater Lux I'm obsessed with this I think this is so 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 stinking cute it's got fun little puff sleeves I've got on uh, Goriana necklaces I honestly haven't taken these off in like two weeks I kind of get in the habit with certain necklaces that like I just leave them on in the shower and I forget about them and then like two weeks later I'll change them out and wear those for two weeks and like so forth. Um, so yeah, rest of my rings, bracelets, earrings are same as usual. Got a cute little purse on from Pauline. I wore this yesterday and then the same shoes that I was wearing yesterday too from Dolce Vita. Very cute. Today's theme is tea party. I don't know if I said that, but I'm excited. All right, let's go meet up with everybody. So I never leave. There's a little table over here that the Sis Kiss is doing where you can get custom jewelry made. 
So I got one that says styled by. Some people got their initials done. And you were able to choose. You could choose between these two chains, gold and silver, and then three different fonts. So I chose this chain, and I chose gold, and then I chose this font. And you can see my little styled by right there. I so just cute. got back to my room and we got to keep all of the stuff that was like at our place setting. So I have a cute little wild one um, plate and then the little teacup has my name on it. How cute is that? And it's so funny because one of the women from the Sis Kiss that was at this event was like, are you Mackenzie Morgan? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, one of our employees, Olivia Schumacher, um, said that she was one of your sorority sisters and she's the one who was making these and putting everything together for this And she said that she knew you and I was like, oh my gosh, no way So that was pretty cool And then they also gave us a little scrunchie with our name on it And they had pictures of us like all printed out at our um, like table placement and then I also got a little M necklace, super cute. And then here's a little closer look at my styled by. You can't really see it fully because I have like so many other necklaces on right now, but I think it's gonna be so cute on its own. I'm obsessed, so. Yeah, fun little morning. I got to meet so many more people today that I didn't have the chance to talk to yesterday, which was really nice. If you are a loyal long-term subscriber, then you know all about these butterfly earrings and this hat. I totally forgot this combo even existed, and I found them in my childhood bedroom when I was home a couple days ago, and I was like, that's coming with. So this is what I'm wearing to the winery. Um, I really want to do the like chunky sweater, silk skirt moment, but I didn't have a silk maxi skirt. So this is actually a um, like silk green dress. <laughs> it's like a wedding guest dress, but I literally just have a sweater over top of that. And then because they said it was gonna be really cold, I've layered a long sleeve underneath of the dress. So I'm bundled. I don't really have a good jacket option, so I'm just sticking with my denim jacket hat my boots are from dolce vita super super cute i love little pointed toe and i'm ready i'm excited bottoms up unreal we've just made it to the winery we're at a place called dow greeted us with a little wine tasting and i'm so excited it literally feels just like austria or switzerland and the whole team's here everybody's all dolled up Having a severe case of lucky girl syndrome right now because it is so beautiful here. We just got a glass of red. I'm not usually a red girl, but this is a Pinot that's from France and it's so good. Uh, big, big fan. And it's like super sunny outside right now, so it's like the perfect weather. Give them the rundown. I'm meeting all kinds of new friends. Literally everything. Everything here has been incredible. By the way, if you've never had wine out in true wine country in slow California, you have you to gotta go. You have to go. All right, tell them. <laughs> your name, your hometown, and where they can find you on social media. Okay, I am Samantha. You can call me Sam. Most people call me Sam. I am from Indianapolis, Indiana, Midwest girly. Cheers and to that. I know, and you can find me at Samantha KW on Instagram and TikTok. And tell us what you're wearing. I am wearing a beach bunny. This is actually a swim cover up. We're so cute. We're sexy today. <laughs> so fun. Um, boots, I don't remember where they're from, but cutie little, like every Sam in my life, okay, I have a lot of Sams in my life, and all of them have really thick accents. Really? And it's like my favorite, it's my favorite thing. Like I'm like, girl Sam one, girl Sam two, uh, boy Sam. <laughs> we got a little Indiana twang to this. Um, Love it. I'm wearing this coat because it's a little chilly here in it, California. It is so chilly. Um, bag is from Amazon, one of my favorite Amazon bags. I've so purchased. cute. I love that. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. To new friends. We're at our second winery, and I'm talking with one of our new Lola <laughs> managers, and she's saying she just came from the brand side, and she said that the most important thing about YouTube is what? Comments. Comments, Engage. everybody. 
engage with your creators, ask them where things are from, ask them what they're doing that day, ask what their skincare routine is. I want to know what you guys are doing right now. Have a conversation with people. Like, we don't want to just talk to a screen. Like, you want to talk to comment. If you're, okay, so ask them a question. And if you watch this far into the video, answer this. Okay, what is the number one thing? I mean, I come from like an apparel brand. So what's the number one thing that everybody is buying right now for spring? Are you guys buying swimsuits already? Is anybody yes, buying like swimsuits? The middle of March. Swimsuit season. Are we doing right swimsuits? Now. Are we doing like wedding dresses? Is everyone going to a lot of like weddings? I want to know like what are we shopping for? Because I'm freezing. Like we're over here in like turtlenecks, but like I want to know. I think like what is everyone kind of looking for? All right, comment, guys. You heard it here. I have the most loyal vlog followers in the world. We were literally at wineries from 1 until 9 p.m. But everybody just ran back to their hotel room and changed really quick and we are headed out to keep the night going. I wasn't expecting this to be such like a going out fun wild trip but it definitely is so we're in a cute little lulu's bodysuit and express pants this is actually a college town so i'm really excited um i am the youngest by about six years so this is my vibe i'm excited let's go cheers everybody <laughs> guys matt just said if i want to go to south africa she'll go to south africa i will and she, I don't want to go. she pinky swore on it that's the one Yesterday was chaos. I think yesterday I met like literally every single girl in our agency, which was really nice and cool and fun. Um, but we literally were at the first winery from like one to five. The second one we were at, we were supposed to be at from five until seven. And we ended up staying until 8.30. And then we had our party bus driver literally just drop us off at the bar. Um, this is a college town, supposedly. Cal Poly, is that how you say it? Um, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Um, that college is here. So we went out on a Wednesday and we had so much fun. So much fun. I don't know what I was expecting out of this trip, but sometimes you go to influencer things and you're like very overwhelmed. This has been like so the opposite of, I, well, I don't even know. It's been so much fun. So anyways, now we are getting ready. Everyone this morning is supposed to have one-on-one -on -one time with their manager. So that's what we're doing. Um, Chloe and I are gonna go walk on the beach for a little bit. We're gonna go to breakfast. And then this afternoon we have meetings, one-on-ones with people from Like to Know It. And I'm so excited for that. I'm such a Like to Know It girly. If you guys don't know what Like to Know It is, it's basically like Amazon storefront, but for like endless brands. Like it's how you link things. It's how I link literally everything that I share with you guys. and. When you post something, you make a cut of that sale. And when you buy from my link, I make a part of that sale. And I'm like, to know it is a huge, 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 huge leader in this industry. And they have some of the biggest brand deals and sponsorships too. So for me, it's very exciting. Like when I work with Lululemon, when I work with American Eagle, um, when I work with Express sometimes, like those brands like are hiring me through like to know it so if i can make a good impression on those kinds of people it's a very good thing in this industry so this morning we're meeting with someone that's like in charge of partnerships and stuff and that's a very exciting thing um i obviously want to make a good impression because these people can then recommend you for upcoming partnerships and sponsorships and things like that and I feel like that's kind of, not a taboo thing, but I feel like people don't necessarily talk about that. Like, I love Lululemon. I'm buying Lululemon regardless. You know what I mean? Like, uh, 
I love their stuff. I'm gonna wear it no matter what. Why wouldn't I want them to hire me for something? You know what I mean? So, uh, fingers crossed that goes well. Okay, super cute little light blue workout set. It's from Glow Mode. And so is my white long sleeve. It's like cold out right now. I feel like I need to wear my denim jacket. This was like laying on the bar floor like all night last night, so that's good. We're at our hangover brunch. Um, I got eggs benedict and a hash brown that's the size of my face. Chloe Anyways. got 17 eggs <laughs> and a whole avocado. And this girl got two full plates of bacon, that's it. <laughs> but really we're at like the chicest spot. It's like so pretty here, it looks so much like Hawaii. I'll show you pics when we're done. It reminds me so much of Hawaii here. But now that we're walking along the cliffs, it reminds me of Laguna Beach. I feel like this is like so similar, but it's stunning here. And if you turn to this side, you get the mountains too. Super pretty. So yeah, just on a little hot girl walk. Nothing crazy. Took a really cute picture down by the beach, guys. And I dipped my feet in. It was freezing cold water. Freezing. Um, they're actually getting a big storm here tonight. Five to ten inches of rain expected. That's a lot of rain. It's a lot of rain. But um, it's beautiful right now. That used to be like my dream job was to be a weather woman. <laughs> like actually. Yeah, really? Yes. Too. I know. That's a fun fact about me. Anyways, what do you think about your breakfast, ladies? Delish. I did Five have pounds. Yours was good. It was like, what do you rate it? I mean, it was good, but maybe like an 8 out of 10. Not, not an 8 out of 10 is generous if it's just good. Oh, what's like, okay, 7 out of 10? I don't know. If it's good. Whatever comes to mind. How was your bacon? The bacon was fire. Like, I think I ate a whole bit. I'm going to give mine, mine not a good rating. I'm not going to rate it because I feel bad. It was it was probably the worst eggs benedict I've ever had. What? <laughs> I've only had it a handful of times, like probably five times, but it was like ham, not bacon, and I've never seen that kind of ham, but it was like really intense ham. I always put pet ham on it. No, like, I've only ever so had it with bacon. Like the classic really? way to make it. Oh, so this was the classic way. <laughs> and I thought that the Hollandaise should have been a, like, More? had some flavor to it. Yeah, it was like kind of boring. But um, it was still good. It was good, guys. I, it wasn't horrible. You sound like a tough dude it, I am. I am. My followers know I'm a big foodie. It wasn't horrible. It just was the worst eggs that they've had. <laughs> I feel like every time you guys look at me, I'm wearing something different. But I've just changed into a fun little set. Our theme for our like to know at luncheon is neutrals. So I just got this set when I was in New York City from Fashion Week um, from a brand called Rue Stick. Very cute. The top is a little big. They only had a medium, so that's what I have on. And the back looks like this. Cute so little open back. I've got my hair in a claw clip because of it. And then the same little Dolce Vita shoes that I've been wearing for like a million days. Just walked over to our little lunch spot. I'm not exactly sure the name of it here, but it's a cute, it's a very, very cute restaurant. And Like to Know It is actually putting on this event. And it's so cute. They had greeted us with tea and our, our heads were literally on them. Look at, <laughs> so fun. So people come to not only shop from you, but to discover you. And then our job is to bring the shoppers. So we have over 8 million shoppers on the platform, and that's only growing. So the job is to bring those creators in, to discover your content, to make the purchases that fuel the economy, that you know 
put paychecks in your bank and then make people who actually then receive those purchases really happy. Like there's this moment, I know, I'll, I'll give you a quick example, there was um, Hello Fashion. I'm not a tiramisu girl, but Chloe is. She says that she eats all the dessert. I love all my sweets. All right, we've got cocktail making happening over here. The girls, I haven't. Guys, I was originally supposed to be leaving at like 9 a.m. tomorrow to head back to LA. I'm staying in Marina Del Rey tomorrow for a hotel collab, but um, Slow is actually getting a severe storm right now. 10 inches of rain tomorrow, and it floods very, very badly here. And Katie, the owner, lives here, and she was like, I would leave tonight if you can. So a few of us LA girlies that drove um, up for the weekend are actually headed back home a little early. Kind of sad because I'm missing a dinner and what I'm sure would have been another fun, rowdy night out. But it's all good. I'm going to stay with Tiff tonight. Thank God I have family and can just, you know, like figure that out uh, nice, and, nice and quickly. So I've got about a four-hour drive back, and it's already started raining. Thankfully, it's just drizzling right now. I, fingers crossed it stays that way. I hate driving in the rain. I hate driving in the dark. I'm going to be doing both today. But, oh well. I'm also trying these. Um, Willy Wall... I don't... Willy Wallaby? I can't decide if I like them or not. Half a tank of gas, 51.49. I made it safe and sound to Tiff's house. It was like five hours, basically. Everybody in Slow County was evacuating, so the roads were just crazy packed, but I'm so glad I left when I did. It rained for like the first two hours, and then the next two and a half, three, it was just drizzling or fine, so I'm really glad. And Katie, the owner, texted me today and said that everything is like closed and shut down there today, so that it was a good thing I left when I did, so better safe than sorry. Um... So yeah, I got to talk to a lot of my friends on the way home. I called my grandparents, I called Lauren, I called Mike for an hour, I called Sam. Um, so it was really good to just chat and catch up with some peeps. Uh, that's my one complaint about living on the West Coast is just the three hour time difference I think is harder to keep up on a day to day basis with people. But whenever I drive, I feel like that's like my time to kind of catch up. So. I got here late at like 9 p.m. and I just showered and went to bed, had a little slumby with Tiff, and now it is noon the next day. It's Friday, and I've just been in bed editing, sifting through emails. Like, I'm so behind on work. Um, it's like overwhelming, so I've just kind of been playing catch up. I'm not really planning on doing much today besides this. It's like pouring rain outside. Um, so. There's not much to do and Sam doesn't get here until like 10 o'clock today. So I've got an itinerary going for the next week. I'll rattle it off to you guys in a little bit. But yeah, that's just wanted to say hey. Guys, Jules is sitting here literally putting lotion in her hair. And I'm like, Jules, what are you doing? And she was like, I read online that you should put a tiny bit of moisturizer in your hair. And I was like, Jules really will read any, she believe anything she reads on the internet to the point that, like, when have you ever heard that putting, you should put CeraVe healing ointment in right. your hair? It's not healing ointment, it's a little bit of moisturizer. No, it's not moisturizer, it's knockoff Cetaphil lotion that we all use. I know, and I got the knockoff one because I'm not going to be able to take this home because it's so much. Yes, so. you are. They're not going to pull you over for it. Pull you over. <laughs> Jules gets a kick out of it because I always say that like I call it being oh, pulled over in the airport and she calls it being stopped oh, Okay, they're pull pulling below. you over Who in this right world has ever said pull over in the airport? I totally forgot to vlog guys I literally sat at Tiff's house from 9 o'clock yesterday until 5 30 p.m. Oh god I'm going on a date with Johnny again tomorrow. So I sat at Tiff's house and worked. I got so much work done. I replied to like 55 emails. I edited and scheduled two YouTube videos. I wrote a blog post. I posted four TikTok. I got a lot done. It was really good, necessary, needed day. And then I drove over to the Jamaica Bay Inn, which is where I was staying with Jules earlier in this vlog. And now we're staying here with Sam. I'm actually gonna end this vlog now and start a new one. Um, for Marina Del Rey because we're actually going to do some exploring tomorrow but the weather was just so bad today that we just needed to have a no bones day but anyways um, on my way over here I texted Johnny and asked him if he wanted to go line dancing tonight swing dancing 
because I've never been swing dancing and he said that he would teach me. And they have country nights at American Junkie, my favorite restaurant in Hermosa on Fridays, but he was busy tonight, but he said he wanted to see me later this weekend. So I asked if he wanted to get dinner tomorrow and he said yes. So I'll keep you guys posted. If you want to see how my second date goes with my potential husband, you'll have to catch my next video. Um, I'm actually not on the quest for a husband right now, um, but they always say they come when you're not looking. No. So you know, maybe Guys, this is my. Because he's a husband, I'm screwed. <laughs> no one, I'm no one to live my life with. I'm what never gonna you? be that girl. Um. Anyways, okay, we're gonna end this vlog off, and we'll catch you when we're in McDonald's picking up Sam from the airport. <laughs>